Can you do the yaw? No. No. Please. Yaw. <laughs> Hello. Boobies, are you still there? And you look like a potato sack. You potato have an ass bitch. I honestly have no idea. It's actually my grandpa's shirt that she's wearing. <laughs> but like, welcome. My name is Kevin to this hall, bitch. I have my fiance here for financial support. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. What the heck? Whoa. I'm an emotional support. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Today's video is about to be another online clothing haul, but this is gonna be my first time trying this brand's clothing. It's considered, I would say, affordable online, trendier clothing type of genre if I had to like mix it up with a category. I mean, the prices were really, really nice. Like looking at the prices, I was like, this seems like good for my wallet, but I don't know if it'll be good for my bod. So we're gonna figure that out right now. I got a lot of different things. I chose these out specifically from a website called Honey Bum. I'm gonna link everything in the description. Okay, so <laughs> can you not with your blue balls? And then like can you imagine her? I'm just gonna get started in the hall. So this is the first thing that I got. I've been on this face of this earth for 23 years and there is nothing that I've learned, but if I learned one thing, it's if you online shop anywhere, regardless, high-end clothing, low-end clothing, affordable clothing, super expensive clothing, it does not matter. You will have to hang it up immediately as you get it. I always hang it up, let it hang for about two days before I wear it because I used to be like the type of girl that was like, oh my God, this clothing brand sucks because it's so wrinkly, it's like cheap fabric, and then I would hang it up and two days later, it would just like straighten out and it would just like off the rack. I never thought I'd say these words out loud. I got a tie-dye set. <laughs> I guess I just like miss my high school days. Did you high really school. wear a tie-dye shirt? You make tie-dye shirts in high school. Oh. Church bonding activity. But you know what? This is a lot cooler than the one yeah, I made. This, looks very this cool. one's like edgy. Like the one I made was like that big circle around the stomach. What is like that? <laughs> you hate the circle I one. Hate. I've actually been wearing this one. I really like this one. I love the fact. I like the pants. Yes, I love the fact, like honestly, if it just came with this, I probably wouldn't have been like, let me add that to cart. But because it came with like these biker shorts that are tie-dye, I'm super excited to try on the tie-dye biker shorts. I've already tried on this shirt, love it, super comfortable, and it's a look. Excited to try this one. I envision this to be like something that I'll wear when I'm like in my 30s and like still trying to be relevant on YouTube. I'm like, this is my go-to. Okay, really? That's, the, that's not the type of emotional support I need right now. I love this outfit. I know that you like the pants more, but I love them together. What's the vibe? The vibe is like, yeah, like you say, it's like a 45 year old mom trying to be cool. <sighs> You're like that cool mom. I'm like drive by teenagers, like, what's poppin'? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, she's brought I didn't do anything. I give this one a 10 out of 10 because of comfortability. Like I could wear this around the house and if like someone wants to stop by, I could be like, oh my god, 73 questions with Vogue? Yes, I'm ready. Oh my gosh, Hi. hello. Hi, welcome to my house. Oh, sorry, don't can let I, the door hit you. Can I ask you some questions? Yes, yes. I'm open to all questions. I'm an open book. Ask me whatever you want. What's your inspiration for your music? For my music? Yes. Well, I like to say that I'm a very kitchen-oriented person. I love to make music about food. That's why my new single, Ramen Girl, was such a hit. Wow, is that your new music or word? Um, yeah. I, I hit platinum. Yeah, I went platinum. I meant gold. I went gold. Who inspires you? Um, definitely Albert Einstein. Next item that I got are these pink joggers, which I am so excited for these joggers. Looking at it right now in the studio light, it does look pretty good quality. Like it doesn't look like you're gonna see whatever type of underwear that I'm wearing. You know, like it just looks cute. I love that there's a line down the middle. So I have a bunch of joggers. I don't have like a nice color of joggers. Like I have like all the dark ones, like your stereotypical. Your black ones, your gray ones, your blue ones. I got those type of joggers. But these, these are pink. These are me. These are like, yeah, I just don't really go to the gym in these. You know what I mean? That's cute. It's cute. I love that there's a line in the middle because sometimes joggers, they will eat your leg and your leg will be gone and you don't have legs no more. And I love the pocket. It's a real pocket. It's a real pocket. 
pocket. I don't know why. Wear joggers. So I always have to lift up. one up. Why wow, your leg looks really long. You know what? In the next one, you'll see me pair it with something. But I get a lot. You like it, right? Mm -hmm. I love the stripe down. Do you like it? I like it. You don't love it. I always buy joggers, oh. and I never love it. And this is the next thing that I. Oh, did I get a medium? It says medium. I can read as well, sir. It does say medium. No, this one's a small. Oh, I know what I did. See, this is what happens when you shop at a new place. I didn't even realize that I did this, but every time I shop online at a new place, I always get like a small and then I get a medium because I need to know like their sizing. Damn, you know, she's big really color. good. This is like really hard. You don't even know your sizing when you like online shop. I'm like, what if the Balenciaga hoodie doesn't fit? Yeah, so we got them all in different colors, all in different sizes. Cause like I'm leaving for Bora Bora tomorrow and I need to take one. Whoa. <laughs> this is the white crop top. It's very deep, but it's not as deep as I thought it would be. Is this you? Probably not. But I'm like trying something that I feel like there's just so much real estate right here that's like available to the world and I don't know how I feel about it. There's like so much boob action. Oh my God, this titty's like popping out this way. This one's popping. They're like fighting for air. And I'm just like, calm down girls. <laughs> yeah. I'm engaged, okay? Yeah. <laughs> One more time. Yeah. <laughs> One <more> time. Yeah. <laughs> and so once my mom recovers, then now I have to introduce her to the pink version of it because I mean, this one is the small. So this one is actually my size. So this one just looks too much of like your basic crop top. Yeah. Like this one looks like, oh, okay, like I've seen that before. Girls. I like the first one. Yeah, so the first one was a, a size of, this is true to size. Can you do the yaw? Honey, yaw. <laughs> I have never been more excited about a pair of shoes. And it's because I have been looking for a pair of shoes like this for so long, so long. And my fiance has always said, nope, not that his opinion matters, but he just hates these shoes. And I already know, like if I think something he likes is disgusting and he wears it, you better believe for the next 24 hours I'm making fun of him while he's wearing it, okay? Like I'm not gonna, I am relentless. I'll be like, you look like a potato sack, you potato have an ass bit. And so I just did not want to give him the opportunity to make fun of me like that, right? Right? So I just never bought any of them. But I saw these online, I ordered them, they came in the mail, and he dead ass was like, those are the cutest shoes I've seen you wear. <laughs> and I was like, what? And I agree. They're so weird. Oh my gosh! I've already worn them out, so they're a little crusty, but I got them um, from Honey Bun, and I already wore them to JK Party. These are like that unicorn, iridescent, I mean the top, like he just doesn't like plastic shoes, so anything with like a plastic heel, acrylic, he doesn't like them. He just doesn't think that they're flattering, and these, wow. Well. Just makes you look like a unicorn. Right? But like a cool one. Can we just, can we just, can we just, you know what, I might not even be doing them justice, like, ooh, do, do, do. Like, what? Wow, this angle though. <laughs> this is the most professional haul you've ever fucking right there. Seen. You know what I mean? Like, Mango, sit. Wow, like, look at this shoe. These are so cute. I don't even know how to describe them. They're so comfortable. I mean, I might even be, I have a feeling that these are not gonna be like staple shoes that like brands just carry forever and ever. I might even be purchasing another pair in my size because I have a feeling I'm gonna go through this pair super quickly. I'm gonna wear them till the soles give out and then I know they're not gonna have any more on their website, pretty sure. So the next thing I got, staying on theme with the unicorn, is this rainbow colored jacket. And I don't even know what to call this jacket. It looks like a neck warmer, it looks like a turtleneck, it looks like a, like a neck. Oh my gosh, did I just? I'm so excited for you to try this one. I'm so excited too. What... It feels nice, it feels like the boot part is all covered with this. So you're good. Yeah. Yeah, it covers all of it. That's rude. I have like so much. It's spilling out over, under, sideways, like everywhere. It's just everywhere. Oh, it's the same size as my neck. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I realized that these are like gym inspired clothes that you can't wear to the gym. Why not? I just feel like if you wear this to the gym, everyone's gonna know that you don't come here often. <laughs> you came here to take an Instagram story, like rise and grind, and then like leave. What's going on here? I don't know because if I zip it up, I look like an air duct. Hello. <laughs> 
Boobies, are you still there? They have left the building. That's kind of cool. Can you do the yaw? Honey, <laughs> I swear. Can you do the yaw? No. No. Please. Yaw. <laughs> I will punch you. God, take me seriously. I like it though. But I don't like it like this, boo. I do not. Really? No. <laughs> What's it down? It doesn't really work like that, you know? Now I just look like my mom. <laughs> like I look like I have massive collars. <laughs> and massive disappointment problem. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the next piece is again something that I imagine wearing about five years from now when I'm a lot older and YouTube is even younger and I'm just like really trying to stay relevant, you know? It's like this leopard two piece. Is this leopard? Is this lizard? I don't know my animal kingdom. <laughs> I don't. It's a bra. What is it, workout clothes? No, a oh. bit. Who works out in this? You are just getting things so twisted. The next thing that I got, I specifically ordered this so I could pair it with my leopard two piece. I've already worn this before. This is the black denim, kind of cropped, super oversized jacket. Love this piece. I mean, I'm a bit, I'm gonna tell you when I put it on because this looks big and this looks edgy. This looks cool. It's not like your typical, like, ooh, leather jacket. Like, ooh, I'm so LA. If you come to LA, you want a stereotypical LA outfit where you look cool, where you look like you didn't try too hard. A pair of good fitting jeans, a white tee, a leather jacket, and strappy heels, and that's a bar look. Crazy is that everywhere or is that just LA? I feel like it's more in LA. Really? Yeah, because I remember like in Atlanta, like when people would go to bars, like they would go all out. Bless your soul, you gotta go to church tomorrow dresses, like really like oh. booty out, you know? But in LA, it's all about like that. I didn't even care. I just like came here right after Soul Cycle. I realized when I go, like we went once, Yeah. I feel like every dude just wears like a bomber jacket. Yes. Oh yes. my god. And those like Chelsea crazy. boots. What's the worst thing was, I don't know why, I decided to wear that day. <laughs> And I'm walking at literally every dude's wearing the same thing. Oh my god. It just be like that. Like, like that's LA, that's guys. What LA does Hi. Whoa. Ah. <laughs> it's cute. It's cute? I just don't know where to. Where I just don't like think that? it's me. I feel like if you had a body that could rock this. Rock it. Like you could even do like the Instagram post and like your caption could be like she a baddie though. She's a what? She a baddie. For me it's like I dress like Kylie Jenner for a week, you know, like that's the type of I look like a YouTube video. I look like a walking YouTube video. But this jacket though. Oh, 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 oh. But oh, now she a baddie. Kind of. You know. It's much better. Yeah. Very cute. Right? It's cute I like now. it now. It's like... Whoa. <laughs> don't be dramatic. I'm like, maybe she got batty. It's like the perfect cropped but oversized. Can you do the yaw? <sighs> yaw. <laughs> The next thing that I got, the last piece of clothing that I got, wore the top already. As you can see by my makeup look, I'm really good at setting my foundation. Let's not talk about that. I got this like tracksuit pair. I usually hate tracksuit sets and I'm probably never gonna wear these together. You'll never catch me in these dirty streets wearing these as a set. But I like the fact like these pants, I don't know if you can see it on camera. I'm sure when I wear it, but they have like a slip so your butt and your you know, crotch area is covered, but then this part is see-through. I like that because I feel like it's gonna kind of shape your legs. You're not gonna be lost in these pants. And then this top is super cute. I already tried it on. And then last but not least, I really look like I'm working for Verizon and I'm at like a team building exercise at a sporting event after work. Verizon versus AT&T, like friendly neighborhood baseball game. And I'm like there to sell hot dogs. I mean, yeah, you look like cool. Like what? I'm a scarecrow. Ooh. Naomi Campbell. Ooh. Like their shoulders are like scrunched in and like their collarbone is literally about to like break off into a thousand pieces and into the camera, but like, ooh. These are just the joggers by itself. Cute. I look like Billy, but with like a hundred percent less talent. She even mangoes into this vibe. Look at her. She like won't stop looking at me. Hi. It's okay. Calm down. Mango. I love this outfit. Do you really? This is like an airport look. I would say it does trap a lot of heat though. I feel like I'm getting cooked. I feel like I'm a turkey with aluminum foil on right now. <laughs> so that's it for all of today's pieces. Let me know in the comments
which one was your favorite. Like I said, all of these will be linked in the description. And also, give Honey Bun some love if you love these pieces. Let them know I sent you. I have a lot of favorites in this haul. I was kind of shook by the quality of things. I was very pleasantly surprised in this one. If I had to recommend anything, are these unicorn heels. I mean, I just don't. I can't even, like, love the tie-dye side. Can I say that? I mean, I just really love the black jacket. I'm going to link all of those in the description. Let me know in the comments which one was your favorite outfit. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. I love you guys. Oh!